So there are more improvements on the way for the Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor. We learned today that it is one of just 34 recipients across the country to be awarded a $100,000 grant from the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Now this comes nearly a month after the corridor opened up its new headquarters and visitor center. And joining us now is Terry Alford. He is executive director of the Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor. We appreciate you coming in. I know this is exciting news <laughs> for you. I wonder if you can just start by telling us what are you going to do with this money? So what we're looking to do with this award is to really focus on the stories that really represent and embellish the 185 years of the African American uh, you know, cultural significance impact made to the city of Buffalo and even beyond the city of Buffalo. So what we're looking to do with these stories is enhance a visitor experience. As you know, we're looking to really promote this area of our corridor as a heritage destination to the country and really to the world. So this will actually help really serve that purpose. We, we view this as a real game changer for us uh, only because, you know, the, the, the organization, the uh, Institute for Museum and Library Services, only award 34 of these across the right. country. So it really shows that we're re making really great progress. We're, we are relevant, not just to the city and to the region, but to the entire country now. People are looking at us, they're looking at the city of Buffalo and seeing that this is a really progressive city is really focusing on those stories and, and celebrating, you know, our history and, and our architecture and our preservation yeah. and all those things that makes us great. Yeah, you point out fewer than three dozen of these awards. There are a lot of museums around the country. It's quite an honor to, to get something like this. And it seems like the hundred thousand dollars can can go pretty far. Yeah, with this, it will go uh, very far. You know, we've been lucky over the last year or so to really uh, get funding to help support all of our programming related to the capital improvements that we're doing in the quarter itself. So yeah, as I said, it's a, it's a real game changer because it sort of just lends to the idea that we are being very successful in getting the word out about who we are, what we are, and what we want to be. It seems significant that this announcement is coming on Juneteenth. So many of us celebrated this past weekend uh, with the big festival, of course, the parade on Saturday. Um, how does that timing sit with sit with you? Oh, it's perfect timing. When when you look at the history of Juneteenth, you know, uh, you know slaves in Galveston, Texas, didn't know they were free mm -hmm. two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was announced by President Lincoln. Two full years, they still toiled uh, needlessly. Uh, and when they discovered they were indeed free, they celebrated. So that really ties in with the quarter in terms of the 185 years of the African-American you know, experience in this city, in terms of the, those freedoms that we represent, mm -hmm. such freedoms as the abolition, abolitionist movement, the, you know, the Niagara movement, the women's suffragette movement, civil rights movement, and even the jazz period, the early jazz period, just which represents the freedom of free expression in terms of music. That all happened in this in this corridor of the right. uh, corner of the corridor. Yeah, all of those things coming together yes. in, this, in this one place. Right. Uh, so we followed, you know, closely all of the announcements that your group has had. You have this master plan. I know there is a lot ahead beyond this hundred thousand dollars and what you're going to be able to do with that. What else is next? What should we be looking forward to? So what what your viewers could be looking for are exciting things with our programming. We're um, all of our anchors, founding anchors are at different periods of their construction projects, which hopefully will be finalized all of them by this time next year. Mm. Uh, we're, we'll be focusing on uh, promoting more programming in terms of addressing food and security, health and wellness, history and education. We're doing all that this year right into next year. So we ask our, your viewers to really just keep following us, you know, uh, follow us on social media, go to our webpage, michiganstreetbuffalo.org. Uh, we're literally doing something every week, you know, right through the fall, right into next year. We're quite excited, I have to tell you. And I hopefully, you know, I, it oozes out of me, yeah. that, that great excitement. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on getting this big award, uh, and we, we can't wait to see what comes out of it. Terry Alford is executive director of the Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor. Uh, thanks for coming in, and once again, congratulations. Appreciate it.